Newton. And I'm Miss McMasters. And today we're going to be teaching the rotation and revolution of Earth for our 8th grade science class. Okay, so for the last few weeks we've been covering space and we've been talking about that, so let's tap into our background knowledge by answering these questions. So, what do we know about Earth and its position in space? Good job, that's a good answer. <laughs> um, how do the seasons happen? Very nice, very nice. And why do we have day and night? Very good, that's a good answer. <laughs> okay, so I'm so glad to hear I get y'all's brains working. We've been talking through some vocabulary, we're gonna review it. If you wanna get out your science journals, go to your personal word wall, and you can be writing some of this stuff down or adding to information you already have. Let's talk about space. This begins about 100 kilometers above the Earth where the shell of air around the Earth disappears. We also have been learning about the Earth, that's the planet that we live on, and it's the third planet from the sun in our solar system. Okay, and then we have our moon. So the moon is a natural satellite which revolves around Earth. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our sun, an average sized yellow star at the center of our solar system. And when you look up at any time during the day, there you see it. All right, so let's put all this vocabulary together. Remember, this chart is on our wall. And um, this is the whole, this is the solar system. So the black part is space. We have our sun, which is our star at the center. On the outside of that, you see Earth. And on the outside of the Earth, you see the moon. And all these little dotted lines about is right in what we're about to learn about. Okay, so after reviewing all that and kind of covering it, we're going to jump into a new concept, and this is Earth's rotation versus revolution. So, Earth's rotation. Can anybody tell me what that is? No? I'll tell you. <laughs> so, when planet Earth turns all the way around or spins on its axis one time, that is a rotation. That's one. And that's 24 hours, so one rotation is one day. Um, Earth's axis is an invisible line around which an object rotates or spins. And then we have Earth's re revolution, which is where planet Earth travels around the sun one time, or 365 days, which is one revolution or one year for us. All right, now I know this concept might seem a little similar, so we're going to do a partner activity so you can kind of figure out which one is which and what it looks like. So Miss McMaster's is going to come over here, and so everyone stand up, pick your partner. One partner, which is going to be me, is going to be the sun, and you're going to hold those flashlights that we handed out earlier. The other partner is going to be the earth, that's going to be Miss McMaster's. So we're going to do both concepts separately, and then we're going to combine them. So first, sun, I want you to stand in place, shine your flashlight. And you're going to show me what it looks like when Earth rotates. So remember, Earth is spinning on its axis. Perfect. Notice that she's staying in place. She's turning on her axis, which is her center point. All right, now let's move on to what revolution looks like. Can anyone tell me what? Now we know it's not turning on itself. It's doing what? Earth is moving around the sun. So sun, you stand there, you hold your flashlight. Earth, you're going to show me what it looks like when you revolve around the sun. Yes, so you're turning, you're walking around in a big circle, remember? All right, now let's put those two concepts together. You're rotating on your axis, Earth, and you're revolving around the sun. Go for it. <laughs> All right, great job, guys. I'm glad that y'all understood that. We're gonna keep moving forward, but remember, when, you're, when we're talking about the differences, you can always think about this activity. Here, we're putting it all together. Um, as you know, the Earth is rotating on its axis, at the same time, it's revolving all the way around the sun, just like we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do we have day and night? So when the Earth is rotating 24 hours, it will face towards and away from the sun. So when you had those flashlights and Earth was rotating, you could see that one side was getting hit by light, but the other side was dark. So that is equivalent to day and night. Um, and when you are on one side of the Earth facing the sun, it is daytime, and when you're on the other side, it's nighttime. Here is a photo to kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, now you're going to turn and talk, explain to your neighbor why do we have day and night, and what do you know about Earth's access? Great, so glad. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to talk about why we have seasons. So remember, Earth is on its axis, and that axis is tilted, so it looks a little bit like on a diagonal. So because it's tilted, it causes one part of the Earth to lean towards the sun and the other part of the Earth to lean away from the sun. And this means that the Earth is getting different amounts of sunlight at different times, which is why we have seasons. For example, in the sun, summer, it's really sunny and it's warmer in your area. In the winter, it's tilted away, you're getting a little bit more darkness and it's kind of cold. That's why we have seasons. Here's a photo to kind of represent that. Now I want you to turn and talk to your neighbor. 
why we have seasons on Earth, and how the different levels of sunlight have impact on Earth's surface. Great, so glad I got to talk about that. Okay, now we're gonna do a show what you know activity. This comes in a few different parts, so make sure you're listening for all the instructions. With McMaster's, is about to show you what a Venn diagram is, which is a graphic organizer, and why this can be helpful. Then you're gonna have 10 minutes to work on your own graphic organizer in your science journal. I want you to show me what you know. You can have, we have lots of resources. This presentation is gonna be on Google Classroom. We have that poster up on the wall. We're gonna give you some sentence stems. You have all your vocabulary in your journal and the textbook. <laughs> Once your 10 minutes is up, you and your partners at your table group are gonna collaborate to make one big Venn diagram on the poster board that we give you. This is a great time to share what you know, maybe learn some things from your partner, and discuss all the different parts of rotation and revolution. And then at the very end of the class, all the groups are gonna come up to the front and present what they learned. And so now we're gonna show you a little bit about what a graphic organizer is and how a Venn diagram can help you. Okay, so after learning everything we just learned and using all that new vocab and all of our new information, we're going to organize it in what's called a graphic or organizer. And in this case, we're gonna be using a Venn diagram. So, I want everybody to take their journals out and I want you to make two big circles that I want you to overlap in the middle where there's space. Okay, good. So on one side, you're gonna put revolution and on one side, you're gonna put rotation. And then in the middle part, this will be the similarity portion because we're finding our differences and our similarities. Um, and then lastly, to help you with that, we'll be using sentence stems. So, um, for if you're really looking for how to put this information into the Venn diagram and wanting to try to find those answers, you can look at our sentence stem board and you can draw from that. Um, and graphic organizers are such a great way to take all of this information that you just learned and organize it to where it's comprehensible and something you can always look back on. Yeah, if you have any questions while you're working on this in your 10 minutes, you can raise your hands and Ms. McMaster's and I will be walking around to help you. All right, now you guys can get started.